本命に決まってるでしょ So after watching that clip, I'm going to assume that you want to do something similar in your videos. Today's how to edit is on transitions. I'm going to teach you how to implement the pre-made transitions and teach you how to make your own using keyframes and opacity settings. And this is all done on the free editing software Lightworks. If you already know how to do the basics and want to skip to the advanced stuff, there's a timestamp in the description that will take you where you want to be. So let's start with the basic transitions that are already in Lightworks. I want my video of Steve to transition to this picture of a purple galaxy. And here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take our video of Steve, put it down in our timeline. We're gonna scrub a little bit, get the desired amount. We're gonna press the C key and make a cut. And we're gonna remove the part we don't want. And we're gonna get rid of the audio as well. So we're gonna unhighlight our video so it won't be affected. Right click, hit remove, audio's gone. Because we're not working with audio today, it's just transitions videos and we're gonna put our picture of the galaxy right next to our video of Steve and as you can see there's the cut mark on where both videos will transition to one another you're gonna to want to put your cursor in between the two to where both videos are highlighted you're gonna right click and then you'll bring up this tab you're gonna to want to hit go to add and here is all of the transitions that Lightworks has pre-made. And typically I use Dissolve, so we're gonna hit that. And now when we play it back, Steve fades into the purple galaxy. Now, you saw, what if you want a longer fade or a shorter fade? Well, let's undo what we just did, highlight both things. And now you'll see that the length and frames will work with the transition. If you want a longer fade, go up to 90 fa frames or just add more. If you want a shorter frame or a shorter dissolve, you can do uh, 10 or 15. The lower your frames are, the faster it will be. The higher they are, the slower it will be. So let's get a short fade. Add the dissolve and boom, much faster. Now, what if you want to do it with two videos? Well, you'd think you'd want to do it the same process, right? Well, unfortunately, Lightworks is a bit more complicated than that for some reason. So let's take our video of Get to the Orange Door review. You should watch that if you haven't already. Uh, take out the audio. Now, t when we do it typically, we're gonna get this error. There's insufficient incoming media to add a transition here. I don't know why it does this, but I'm gonna teach you how to get around it. So you're gonna to wanna to put your cursor off to the left before it cuts to the next video. You're gonna click here, move forward to the next cue mark. And now you're gonna come look at your timestamp area here. We are at eight seconds, 16 milliseconds. We're gonna to wanna to put it a second before. So we're at eight, we wanna to go to seven, type in seven, hit enter. We are now one second before. We're gonna highlight it. Now it's blue. Now we're gonna to go to one, now we're wanna gonna, <sighs> English, we're gonna wanna go one second after. We were at seven, now we wanna go two seconds, so go to nine. We're now one second after the cut, and we're also a second before the cut. Then we're gonna wanna hit delete mark section. They are now merged, and now you just do what you would do normally. Right click, add, and let's do a push this time. And now, there's your transition. That's how you do basic transitions. I don't know why the media error comes up, but I hope I have taught you how to get around it easily. And let's get into the more advanced stuff now. So in the sample video at the beginning of this, you saw Joker look up to Tay, but he didn't see Tay, he saw Rick Astley dancing around and singing. We're gonna do something similar, but instead of Rick Astley, he's gonna be looking at Steve. First things first, we're gonna get our desired clip that we wanna mess with, and I already got it to the point where he looks down, it looks back up. And like in the image moving around video, we want the video or the image we want to mess with at the base of our thing. It's like layering a cake. So we're going to add another track first. Uh, okay, just go over here and right click tracks, add a video. Now we're going to find where we want to mess with. First, let's get rid of that audio. So we're not going to be messing with that. So we wanted to get it to where Joker's looking up. So he takes the box, he looks back down, 
There's the hand. Now we're gonna go frame by frame. Let's see where we can find it to where he's just in the middle of looking up. Keep clicking. Yep. This is what you gotta do sometimes when you wanna make something very complex. Okay, so now we're in the part where he's looking up. Let's get it to where he's looking up about halfway. That'll work. We're gonna make a cut. What the hell? Oh, I hit F. Undo. C. Hit cut. That'll mark us where we're gonna wanna mess with. Now we don't wanna delete the video. We want it to be there because we want it to fade in on top of it. And if we get rid of it, it's just gonna look too messy, in, at least in my opinion. So now we're gonna take our video of Steve. We're gonna put it on top. There we go. Unhighlight that, get rid of the audio. Boom. And now it's, Steve's just gonna take over. We don't want that. We kinda want him to fade in a bit. So we're gonna go over to VFX. Gonna right click. Go down to the go to the effects, add 3D DVE. We can now mess with them a lot more. We can mess with the video on the x-axis, on the y, and of course Z where he just kind of comes in and out. We want Steve to come down as Joker is looking up. So we're gonna take our video and put it up a bit. I think about right there will work. And we're gonna want it to come down as he's looking up. Now when I did this with the Rick Astley video, I did it about 10 frames. You can mess with it all you want, but when you want to start messing with keyframes, we're now gonna start, yeah, we're gonna mess with keyframes, English. So we're gonna click the little stopwatch icon here once we get our video to where we want it to begin at. Boom, we're in keyframes. Now we're gonna go 10 frames over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, and now we're gonna put it back in our desired spot, which is right in the middle. So 0.5 on the x-axis. Please bark with me. Boom. And when we play it back, we will see that the Steve video drops down over the Takamaki video. But we want it to fade in as well. Here's where we start messing with opacity, which is down here at the bottom of this editing menu. And the lower your opacity is, the lower it's gonna, the, it's not gonna be as visible. So let's put it about 16.5% opacity. So 16.5, that's pretty faded out. And here's where we mess with the keyframes again. Now that we got it at our desired opacity state, hit the stopwatch, 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And put it back at 100% now visible and when we click it back it fades in and drops down at the same time now say you want to do something different well you could also work with a different axis let's just take out our keyframes for the y-axis put it back down at 0.5 and let's say we want it to kind of pop in instead well find your Desired plane on the z-axis. Uh, we're at 21.6. Gonna go back here. There we go. Hit the keyframe button. 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Put it back at zero. Boom. Steve's now gonna pop in instead of drop down. Which I guess that could work as well, but that's just a way to make your own transition. You don't even have to use the opacity, so you just wanna overlay it on top of another video. I forgot to mention one thing. There's actually another thing you have to take account of. Uh, when it drops down, the more the video plays, you're gonna see it start, you're gonna see it slowly start to move back up. To prevent that from happening, we're just gonna go to our edit tab. We're gonna cut where we want it to end, delete it, get rid of this too. Go back into our VFX tab, go one frame before, and we want it to stay right in the center. So if we're messing with the y-axis, that's at 0.5. If you were messing with z, we put our keyframe for z back on. Well, I already erased it. But if you were messing with z, you would put it back at zero and that would keep it blown up. And the same thing with the opacity, keep it at 100% because it'll eventually fade back out into 16 and a half where it started. So that's how you get it to quit moving back to its original position. 
So I know they didn't necessarily look the smoothest, but I hope that's a good framework to get you started on how you want to make your own complex transitions, or if you want to just put something simple in the video to just make like a quick fade into another thing, I hope showing the basic uh, transitions helped you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very pleased with the response of the last how to edit video. It inspired me to make this one. And if there's any more questions you guys have about Lightworks or about editing in general, uh, please leave a comment asking me a questions. I'll figure it out and I'll teach you how I figured it out. Or if you have any advice for me, just let me know. Uh, thank you again for watching and I can't wait to do another one of these.